Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be going over ClickFunnels 2.0 and how you can add and delete blog posts. This is something I did in a previous video a few back I believe but I know it was kind of like just thrown in there so this is going to be separated. I'm going to show you how to do it and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. Let's continue on and get down to the good stuff. So let's go over to showing you where I am. Uh, I am in the sites and funnels section. I am under blog and if you're newer to ClickFunnels 2.0 like if you haven't done much with your blog I have the example blog posts that are already there so those will probably be there. I want to keep those there or just show you some so you can see how to delete it. Anyway, as you can see at the top right, we have new blog post. Let's click that. And what we can do is obviously just add to this. So I'm just going to give it some example stuff here. Give me one second. Okay, so I called it new blog post and the summary is going to be, as you might expect, new blog post. Now, what I recommend doing is that before you actually go to create anything, which is where you are now, keep it on draft. This will say only visible to site admins and editors because what you need to do, this just sets up kind of the page where you're going to be editing it specifically with your text and your words for the actual blog post will be in a separate template. So it makes sense not to put it public right away because nothing is going to be on that page. You don't want to show off nothing when there's just the title there. It's going to look weird. So let's click on create post. And ironically enough, they recently just changed this. I'm glad I did a new video because it didn't work this way before. Right when you create it, it goes straight to the blog post. Now, as you can see, this is a pre-made template. You can't edit this. For example, if you go to click on top right here, it says only post content can be edited on this page. To edit surrounding content, edit the post template page. So you can you know, jump out of there and edit template, but we're gonna be going with the post. All you need to do is scroll down right here. We're gonna be adding a section. We'll just do full page, makes sense, uh, one column. And then we want our text or paragraph section. And this is gonna be where you go crazy with doing your blog post. Of course, we don't want it all the way in the middle. We'll put it off to the left and that's where you would write it. You can click on save. And of course, that's how you create your blog post. Like I said, unless until you have it all the way done, then I would go back and make it public so that, you know, someone just doesn't go there and it says, what does this say your blog post? Clearly it's under construction. It's not done yet. Anyway, let's go back here. Now I'm going to show you how to delete any of these blog posts because you're going to need to know how to do this, obviously, especially with these. I'm sure you don't want them there, right? But I'll just delete this one. Let's go to edit post on the gear that is. And if you scroll down, there's gonna be a section that says delete blog post. Go ahead and click that, click proceed. And just like that, you are back to basics. As you've seen, that blog post has now been deleted. Also, in case you weren't aware, there is going to be a section for draft and public. We're under all, where it obviously shows the status of both of these. But uh, in the future, if you do have one in the draft, you'll see all of them here. You can also sort them by the ones that are in draft or public or just go to all. But anyway, that is going to conclude this video when it comes to creating blog posts and deleting them with ClickFunnels 2.0. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. In case you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0 and you're still watching, thank you very much. I will leave my link down below in case you want to test them out for a free 14-day trial. If you're already using them, you can use the link down below simply to log in since it's going to take you to the main homepage anyway. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.